Hey everyone, Mike DiDonato here from Fiamma Canada. Today we're going to be looking at Jura's latest iteration of the E6. To start the review off, we're going to do an unboxing, but I'm also going to be comparing and contrasting the older version with the newer version. So after I unbox this, you'll see the older one appear. Let's start with the unboxing. We have a simple pull tab, comes right up, two flaps, and then the front. Now Jura has this really nice convenient handle system in here. Let's talk about what comes in right out of the box. So we get our two pack cleaning tablets, super convenient for your first two cycles. You have your bypass scoop made for your pre-ground coffee, Clara Smart filter, and of course your Clara Smart filter extension. In addition to that, we have our manual with a water hardness testing strip found right here, our tube with connector, and a separate hot water spout should you choose to use that. Now to remove the machine, very simple. You can take the lid off just like this. We're gonna remove this cover here, and then we're gonna pull it from these two pieces. Easy one-man job. Now let's look at what else comes with our machine. We have our milk cleaning container, milk cleaning tablets, put this guy down. And once we lift this out, our beautiful brand new platinum silver Jura E6. As promised, we now have the older version. It's magically appeared on the table. Let's talk about a few of the key differences. Now, aesthetically speaking, when we look at both machines, we can see they look a little bit different. The newer one, pure silver, really clean, really nice look. The switch has a little bit of chrome on it, very clean. You'll notice on the screen, we have the E8 style panel with the new integrated buttons. If you look at the older unit, what we'll see is the button style, kind of an older style. The dial, not as nice as the newer one. A little bit of change in regards to color, so this is a gloss where this is a matte. The center piece is black, where on this one it's all silver. In addition to that, one key thing you'll notice is the frothing spill on this one is in the center of the machine. On the older unit, it's slightly to the right. Now, what are some technical differences? So on the newer E6, Euro has implemented their preheating system, which automatically preheats the machine internally to make sure every cup coming out is always at the right temperature. In addition to that, we have the new professional aroma grinder in the new E6 compared to the G3 grinder in the older unit. Now the newer grinder will be a little bit quieter, a little bit quicker, and it'll give you more robust flavor. They've changed the shape a little bit. It's gonna funnel the coffee a little bit better. We find that the coffee is definitely a little bit more robust with the newer unit. Other than that, when looking at these two machines, some of the other differences are more technical. So on the new E6, they've added the extra shot function. That's great if you like a double shot cappuccino. Uh, in addition to that, we also have an Americano and a Cafe Barista. The Americano works almost as a true Americano would, where you're gonna get hot water from your central spout here. And the Cafe Barista is essentially a long espresso with a little bit of added water, more of a European style beverage, but really, really tasty if you're into the coffee side. Now, other than that, these machines are very, very similar in a lot of different ways. Both of them will have a 1.9 liter water tank. Both are using the Clara Smart filter cartridge, and both can be used with the Jura Joe app by using the Wi-Fi Connect. And finally, one of the most important new features is the addition of the pre-ground bypass chute. On the older unit, you didn't have that, so shout out to all of our decaf lovers. On the new unit, you can now bypass your regular beans or vice versa and use pre-ground coffee for all your specialty beverages. Let's get into the new E6. Now, in this review today, we're gonna to be using some accessories. Those are my Slimline cup warmer. I love this feature. Hot cups equals hotter coffee and a better coffee. Second, we have our 0.6 liter cool control. Great for milk refrigeration. You don't necessarily need that for milk drinks, but it's a nice feature to have. There's also the glass milk container, which we use in a lot of other videos. Definitely check our links. In addition to that, we have our HP1 milk tube. Now the machine will come with a clear tube. It functions the same way, but this is obviously shorter. It looks a little bit nicer, much easier to work with in my opinion. In general, it kind of elevates the look of your machine and how it operates. So as I mentioned earlier, this machine can make up to 11 specialty beverages. My favorite as always is the espresso. Simply click the button automatically your grinder is going to kick in. Now, the Aroma Professional grinder is definitely quieter, it's quicker. Like you can see, I'm already getting an extraction. While the coffee's coming out, I had the ability to actually increase or decrease the strength based on my preset option. I had it at two and a half beans. That's kind of my 
medium setting. I can go strong all the way or mild all the way down to one. I also have it set for 1.5 ounces and that's where the machine will automatically stop. Now I'm looking at this, you can see beautiful crema, really, really nice body on it. It's definitely hot. I have nice steam coming off of it. Fantastic cup of espresso, very, very robust. I'm also using my Eura crystal glass cups, which I really, really like. When looking at this machine, we can also do really nice milk drinks. So the way the frother works on this machine is actually a two-step process. Let's demonstrate. If I wanted to make a cappuccino, I'm gonna get my glass here. Centered in the middle, you wanna make sure that that third spout is underneath, and you're gonna select cappuccino. As soon as I click that, you'll see my bean strength again. I have it at full strength, five beans. It's gonna do a single shot. At the five strength, you're at the 16 gram option, which basically maxes out your brewing unit for the most amount of coffee you can grind. Very robust flavor. After that, you're gonna notice it's gonna heat. Once it's done heating, it's gonna tell me to open the switch. Conveniently, I turn this knob here. I have milk in my cool control. The machine will automatically draw the milk, heat it, steam it, froth it, put it in the cup for me, and fill it up really nicely. Now, once this is done, I can close the switch to stop it. I can do that at any time. Let's say now I think it looks okay. It says close switch. I close it. Immediately after, it's gonna pour my espresso shot. You'll notice I have it set for two ounces. Now that's purely up to you and what you like. The traditional cappuccino will be about one ounce. I like it a little bit more robust, a little bit more flavor in there. I like it more coffee tasting. So I prefer going higher. You'll notice we'll get my espresso shot out there. I have my beautiful layering happening, uh, especially when you're doing clear glasses, really nice presentation. At any time I can cancel and stop it, or I can let it run out to its automatic preset two ounce function. And just like that, so simple. Cappuccino looks beautiful. The milk foam is incredible. With the Jura, it's incredible with the milk. It's almost like a very tight, knit, dense microfoam. It's not that big, kind of soapy bubble, 90s cappuccino style. It's really European in the way it tastes and the flavor. I really, really love that, and I really have become addicted. I can't live without that feature. So as I mentioned, I really like a robust cappuccino latte milk beverage. So one nice feature with this machine that they've integrated is the extra shot. So this gear function, if I were to hold it, what you'll notice is I have an option that comes up on the screen that says extra shot. As soon as I select that, what you're gonna see is a secondary bean in that picture. Now what the machine is gonna do is it's gonna prepare a cappuccino in the exact same way it did on my first beverage. But after it's done the first shot, it's gonna automatically kick in and run a second espresso. I really like that feature. Again, I'm a big coffee guy. I like that taste and flavor. So for me, that's really important. As soon as the machine's done heating, right about now, it's gonna tell me to open the switch. Again, simply turn my dial here. Automatically will draw heat steam for off my milk, just like the first process. I'm gonna monitor that. Now, because I'm gonna be adding more coffee volume, I'm gonna stop my milk a bit shorter. That's also gonna increase the flavor and robustness of my coffee. That looks good to me. I'm gonna close my switch. Now I'm gonna get my first shot of coffee. Again, that's set for two ounces. Again, I can always play with that. So on the fly, I can increase by selecting this arrow or decrease how much coffee I want. So in this instance, let's go down a little bit to one and a half ounces. That way it's gonna be a little bit more robust in the flavor because I'm using less water in my extraction. And now what you're gonna notice is my second shot is gonna also equal to the one and a half ounces. So whatever you have that set to is what both shots will be in total. So now I'm getting my second bean here. And you'll already see, because I'm using less milk, the color and body of this is a lot darker than my first one, which I have right here. You're gonna see the colors changed a lot. Now with my second shot coming out, it's gonna add even more flavor, more robustness. I can still increase or decrease. And automatically, I got my second shot. So let's give that one a try now. You'll see more coffee, more color. and definitely a lot stronger in the flavor and the taste profile. And that's a really nice function that I really appreciate them adding to this machine. So moving forward, when we look at this home screen, we have four options on our first page here. I have my espresso, hot water, cappuccino, and cafe barista. Now, I just showed you my hidden function. If I go to page two, I can see the rest of the drinks. So we have our Americano, we have our coffee, our milk foam, and macchiato. Now some people ask, what's the milk foam? Why would you just want that? What I really like to do with that is hot chocolate. I have eight nieces and nephews and they love it. So we just make the milk foam, add a little bit of cocoa powder, stir it up, or cinnamon, depending on what they like. Um, but let's talk about our Americano. So if I wanna make an Americano on this machine, which is one of the newer functions, it's so simple. I literally select my Americano option. Immediately my machine's gonna start grinding, as usual. I have it set to the four bean option, and I have my volume set to four and a half ounces. 
So the machine's gonna pour all that water through my coffee, four and a half ounces worth. So my full extraction through coffee itself will be four and a half ounces. Now once this stops, we're gonna get another message from the machine. So let's wait and see what's gonna happen. You can even see the color here, the way it changes. The coffee gets lighter and lighter as it's extracting everything through it and pulling everything through it. Now once I get to my four and a half ounce mark, which is very, very close, the machine will automatically stop that portion. Now some machines run all the water through the coffee, some are separate. You'll notice this is now saying to me, open switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this switch here. Immediately what's gonna happen is the machine's gonna add fresh water from my tank directly into the cup. Really, really creates a true Americano in that sense. When I'm ready to stop, all I have to do is turn the dial here again. I can preset the amount of course, but you always have to remember to turn that dial off. So there's my Americano. You'll notice the coffee, the color, really, really nice, really extremely hot. I have a beautiful creme on there. Whereas in contrast, if I were to make a coffee, it would run all the water through the coffee itself as opposed to the separate function. So having this third spout here gives me more flexibility. For people who want like that true Americano, that's definitely the best feature in that regard. Now let's look at how to make two drinks at a time. So with this machine, you can make two espressos or two coffees at the same time. Now it's not very intuitive because on page one you have your four drinks and page two you have your four drinks and you only see espresso once. Kind of a hidden feature, the way to do that is actually select espresso twice and you'll see automatically it'll say espresso two. As I mentioned earlier in my video, this machine has the intelligent preheating system. So right now that's kicking into place. You'll see that dial comes up. So what that does is it flushes hot water through the components that make sure essentially every cup that comes out is coming out at the right temperature. Great feature. Really, really like it because it definitely elevates the coffee and espresso experience. So now that that's done, my grinder is going to kick on. It's going to start grinding. So the way it works for my two phase drinks, whether it's espresso or coffee, is it does it in two cycles. So it's going to do a shot and then a shot. That way we're grinding fresher coffee twice. We're going to get a more robust flavor. It's going to be a lot better tasting and the palate is fantastic. Once this first one stops, it's set to one and a half ounces. It'll stop halfway, and then in immediately the grinder will kick on again to do cycle two. We're gonna get the rest of our shot. It's gonna be completed, and we're ready to serve our two espressos. So now I have my second extraction happening here. I'm using the Fiamma coffee, as I mentioned earlier, which gives you a really nice espresso. It's our own personal blend. We really, really like this coffee. And when you look at that, like the color, the heat, the temperature, really, really incredible coffee coming out of this machine. So again, that option is available for both the espresso and the coffee. Now another new feature on this machine is the macchiato. That's on page two. If I select that here, all I have to do is click my macchiato button. Now macchiato is essentially an espresso with a stain of milk, just a little bit of milk. It really is a nice beverage if you want, kind of that robust flavor, but a little bit of sweetness with it, with the milk, a little bit of fat. It really kind of makes it more palatable, depending on the coffee you're drinking and what you like. Once I click it, it'll grind and tell me open switch. Automatically, I'm gonna open it. I have it set for four seconds, so now I'm gonna close it. Immediately after, it's gonna pour my espresso shot. So really, it's almost like a baby cappuccino, but truly, you're getting a stain of milk. It's a really, really nice beverage, and if you're new to espresso, I highly recommend trying this. It's a nice way to kind of ease into that bitterness and that taste profile, and it'll really help you find what you like to drink in coffee. So my coffee set for one ounces. This will automatically stop. I'm gonna have this really, really nice, and again, I'm using the Jura crystal glasses, so the presentation is really stunning. I'm getting that natural triple layer effect of foam on top, steam milk on the bottom, and the espresso kind of in the middle, and if I let this set, you're gonna really see that separation. Really, really beautiful, and it's really nice to serve, especially at parties. Fantastic. So now in addition to that, when looking at this machine, let's talk a bit about the programming and the maintenance and how that works. My water tank is on the side here. As I mentioned, 1.9 liters. It comes out very simply. I have my Claris Smart Filter in there with the extension. To remove this, simply turn it. Now this disconnects very easily from the filter itself. All I need to do is snap it. And when I replace it, always keep this piece, snap it on your new one, put it back in and select the filter option. Just locks into place, super simple. What I really like about this water tank, to be honest with you, is the fact that it's front loading. That way if I have a valence or something kind of blocking in my countertops, it doesn't really affect how I access that piece. And because it's two liters, it stays full for a long time, depending on your coffee usage, obviously, but for me, it works pretty well. I'm in a household with two. In addition to that, my beans are loaded on top. Really nice aroma preservation cover here, so your beans are gonna stay fresh. 
It holds about 280 grams of coffee. On the back here is where I have my pre-ground bypass, so if I open that guy up, I can put in two scoops of coffee with the scoop I showed earlier. That'll automatically bypass whatever drinks you're using the fresh beans and use that. Now for that function, you simply select and hold the gear. Make sure you select the bypass mode and then add your coffee. Immediately after, you'll use that for your beverage. So now looking at this machine, the only other thing you really need to worry about is your container here. It'll automatically tell you to empty it. So compost, you're gonna hold about 16 cups and you're getting really, really nice pucks. You can see the heat kind of coming off that. Really, really good grind. So the grinder is adjustable on this. It is the Aroma Professional grinder, as I mentioned earlier. Um, the dial is right in the back here as well. Let's talk about programming. This machine, super simple and intuitive to program. To simply program any drink, let's look at our cappuccino. All we actually have to do is push and hold the button until we get to our next menu. So now what you'll see is product settings or reposition the product. Now reposition the product, we'll go over that really quickly. You can actually customize your menu on page one and two. So you can have all your coffee drinks on one, your milk drinks on another, purely up to you. Now the second option, product settings, is we're gonna program all these different options for each drink. I select that, and on the top you see there's four little dots there. So my first option is coffee shrink. If I wanna decrease it, I can simply hit the backwards arrow, increase it, hit the forwards arrow, go to my next option, volume, so this is for my coffee. Again, I can decrease or increase. And we go forward again. Temperature, I like it high, I like a hot coffee, so we leave that high. And the next will be my milk. Now, you'll notice milk is put there in seconds for uh, a measurement. Now, a lot of people ask, how come it's not volume, why isn't it ounces? And really odd, but really the reason is, Different milks will aerate differently. So a homogenized versus a skim will come out at different volumes. So it's very hard to gauge that. And depending on the milk you're using, you gotta kind of find the right time for your beverage. So one way to do that is really just kind of go longer, stop it sooner, and you'll kind of have a gauge of, okay, I stopped it at this time, I'm gonna set it for that. So I'm gonna leave mine at, let's say 15 seconds. Now to save all these settings, you'll notice here it says save. All I have to do is click save. I get my check mark. Automatically I know my drink has been saved. Every time I click cappuccino from here on out, I'm always gonna get whatever I just programmed. On the fly, I can always increase, decrease, adjust, but it'll always revert back to my original program on my follow-up cup. It works the same for every beverage. Let's look at our other programmable options. If I click the gear here, I can get into my product settings on the top right with this gear, and from there, I have different options. When looking at the screen, I have my language, so if you wanna learn a new language, the Euro can even teach you that. I have my switch off after. That's a nice feature for uh, energy saving mode. So essentially, I can set that for 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. If no one uses or touches the machine, it will automatically shut down. Next thing is my water hardness. So when I did my unboxing, you'll notice there's a water hardness strip. You can set that to the machine so it'll tell you when it needs to be descaled by sensing its water hardness levels. In addition, I have my units here. You can set that in milliliters or ounces. I prefer ounces because the increments are by half ounce, whereas in milliliters, it's a five milliliters. So if you're going from 100 mil coffee to 200, you're just, it's a lot. Half ounce, a lot easier to work with, a lot quicker, smoother. So now for page two. If I select the arrow here, it's gonna bring me to page two. Now the first option here is product name. When you first get the machine especially, it'll just show pictures of different drinks. A little espresso cup, a little coffee cup, a little cappuccino cup. To actually put the name underneath it, like I have on my machine, you select product name and you turn that feature on. That will make sure you kind of know what you're doing. Some people don't want the names, they want bigger pictures. Purely up to you, really operator's choice. So our second option is smart mode. With that, it'll automatically recognize what drinks you make the most and customize your home screen to suit that. Other than that, we have number of products. So if I select this, I can choose between having two or four products on my home screen. If you have two, you're gonna be scrolling through the menu a bit more, but if there's primary drinks that you always drink, that makes sense too. Going back, we also have our factory setting, which will automatically wipe everything we've saved and changed and bring our machine back to its stock setting. If we go back, we're back on version, really not important for you, it just shows the software and what you're using on your machine. So we've tried a couple drinks, we've gone through all of our programming, all of our settings, and that's pretty much everything you need to know about the new Jura E6. The new additions to this machine are really a game changer. I love having the extra shot function, I love having the macchiato, I love having the true Americano, and I also love the look of this machine. I think the brushed matte color is really stunning. It also comes in this really nice piano white, which I also like, depending on your kitchen. Uh, overall, I think it's a buy. I, I love it, I love everything about it. For the price point and for the size of this machine, you really kind of get everything you could possibly want. 
Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this review today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out our Instagram at Fiamma underscore Canada for some cool and fun content and our website, www.fiamma.ca for all your journey needs. Have a great day.